Diego, this uh, this losing stuff. You're not used to this losing stuff, man. I know, so. I know, brother. <laughs> it's been it's been uh, real tough for me, but we're here to to you know enjoy a little bit. No that all this this uh, five week is it, it, great for me. I, I love this uh, this pressure, you know, all this excitement, and it, I feel good. That's awesome. Uh, you were scheduled to fight uh, a couple months ago, right? Uh, what, what what happened? I didn't hear exactly what the details. Uh, exactly. Uh, I got a little. Exactly, have a injury already. You know, before like uh, I think after my Gali, the Galis fight, and I was taking care. You know, and the fight. You know, the fight jump. Like okay, I got the fight. The the oh, I, I forgot the name of the fighter right now. Sorry, um, but uh, I told my coach, hey, it's not getting better. You know, it's not really. Improve, improving the uh, the feeling, the pain, but uh, and then uh, I told him like you know my students have a fight coming up on a contender, I'm gonna pull off a little bit, just get hand on ready first, you know Victor Martinez, he, and he got to the the fight contender, you know got the, the contract, got more happy, you know I got more excited and said no oh, coach let's do it, I, I, that's my time I feel good and I got exactly two I got back you know I have to get back to the doctor, have to get back to the, the UFC, give all the results, you know, and uh, I was clear, and right away they got me a fight. Nice. So, I mean, has the preparation been difficult at all, or have you been 100%, or is, I guess as close to 100% as you can be as a fighter? It can, it can never be a, a close to 100%, <laughs> you know, but, uh, um, yeah, the doctor cleared me, you know, and they told like, oh, just take care for the first few weeks, you know, really try get into the, the, the game. Don't go jump in and straight to the pool, you know. Uh, but right now, taking time to recover, get ready, you know. And I took all my time. I really, uh, two weeks just doing uh, therapy, just getting, getting uh, uh, strong, uh, strong again, you know. And after there, I just, you know, put in the work, put in the grind and driving back to, to going back and forth to Dallas. And that's how we did it. <laughs> How many miles do you have on your car from driving back and forth? I don't know, bro. <laughs> I really don't know. I never check, but uh, I have a lot of miles, you know. Last, uh, what, eight years? Yeah, eight years going back and forth to Dallas. I don't know how many miles I have, but, uh, hey, the, the car's still going. <laughs> They're still going. Is that getting tough for you at this point? I mean, the, to, I mean, I'm sure there's part of you that selfishly wants to stay at home, right, and not have to make that trip. Is it tougher for you now to do that? It was like the last two fights. I was making, I was having that that feeling, but I don't know. Maybe that's what it is. It made different to myself because now I will enjoy. You have to enjoy the process, you know. Like, it, it, and I think um, driving the nine hours is it, supposed to be my process to get what I want because that's what I push myself to make sure I be grinded like all the way to. Nine hours from the time I leave from my, my house, my focus is 110% on, 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 on to get there and do a best out of me. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if I'm tired or not. I want to get there and do my best, especially on, on, when the coach is watching me. You know, like I really want to give my best because my teammates are always there to push myself too. They are from there. They cancel things like especially be with the families. You know, to go train or uh, help me out. And I want to make that worth it for them too, you know, especially because they are my team. But now I feel this, the, the, the nine hours driving, the, the grind is, is that, that's what's making me the, who I am, make me the, the different fighter I am, you know. I grind all the time and, and that's what I don't want. I want to like the process too. What do you do during that nine hours? Do you like do you use that as time to think, or do you try to just zone out and just get on the road, or, or what? Uh, I, I take a lot of time to read, not read a book. Now I have an audio book. You know, um, I, I try like focus on that. I try like really just mentally be be relaxing, driving, but be relaxing to get there and do what I have to do. You know, but podcasts, music, not so much. I don't, I, I really don't go into music, but podcasts and Joe Rogan talking. I go <laughs> so over that nine hours listen to Joe Rogan's podcast and, and I like it, you know, and it's make me just be more focused and, and, and enjoy the ride. That's awesome. All right, let's talk about Mateo Scamrat, uh, kind of new to the UFC, but a veteran of the sport. Um, when you got matched up with him, did you know anything about him? Did you have to research him? Exactly. I seen his, first, uh, his debut, you know, and, and I was impressed. His debut in Abu Dhabi and... 
I, I didn't know he was handy. I was gonna fight, but I'll watch him. I'll watch him when uh, he fought Jamie Stevens. You know, I know he's a he's a really grown uh, grown fighter, and um, it's gonna be good for me because I need that. Like I need that push, and and he's a challenge. He's a 19 and one right now, and uh, 10. It, it's who cannot who cannot be excited to fight somebody like that? You know, because uh, it, it's. It's always a win, like to fight somebody like so tough and, and, and do so doing so good on 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 the fight. But I know on uh, 18 it's gonna be my night, and I gotta remember. I gotta remind myself I'm th I'm there because he's tough. I, I, we're there because he's tough too. You know, both are tough, but we gotta meet up in the middle and let's throw down. It doesn't matter how good he is. It's awesome. Last thing for me, I mean, obviously you want to win every fight, but I mean, does this feel like, I don't say a must win, but like more important normally, you know, you want to just get off these losses or do you even think about that? Do you have to like kind of just make it one night? Um, I really, I really don't get at the pressure. I don't know why. Uh, for me, this is still just a, like a fight. For me, like every fight I get is a fight. I want to be, I want to get out from the, from the, the inside the cage I want to be bleeding. I want to make a work, and I think this make me not having the pressure because I want there. I want to fight. That that's the most thing I put in my mind. I, I don't really put that like the pressure for me. I just enjoy. Diego, um, so last time you you were on a two fight losing streak, you went on to a six fight win streak. Is that what you're trying to do? That's that's the plan. You know, I, I really uh, not just six. I want to make better this time. I want to make really with it my, my time, you know, to, to like we were talking about, like driving nine hours and, and be with my team. I want to make this like more, you know, because six times it was not enough. Six wins was not enough. I need to make eight, at least eight to nine to get what I want. And uh, I just I just wanted to know a, a update on your son who was in a bad motorcycle accident in, uh, in, in June. Uh, it was really tough for me, you know, and that, that part of my life. To see my son the first time on uh, on the table, the, the, the table of the, sorry guys, uh, the table of the hospital, you know, but um, we got through, you know, it was just, I, I don't think it was so much my fault, but I was giving him the authority to drive my own bike, you know, and letting him, he was enjoying something I was enjoying. It's something like you 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 want to see your son like doing everything you do, you know, like do like the do the way he does, like fighting and uh, in uh, uh, be in a hospital because my bike was not my plan, you know. You still feel like I still feel like that because I don't know why it, that that hurt me, you know. I never seen something like that, especially like, looking for my kids like. Then they are everything for me, you know. But uh, it was tough. I can say that it was really tough. Um, has he recovered and is he doing better? Yeah, thank God he he recovered. You know, and I'm not gonna say 100 percent, but he he really doing his best to to get back to training, the weight, the way he he was into. You know, uh, he he's he's he waited to get in uh, on. Uh, in the fire departments, you know, he's so excited about there. He's now he's just focused on his study, and I'm proud of him to just doing that. Like it's it's my 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 first child, but damn that boy, it's everything I have, bro. That those three, it's 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 something we inspire me. Thank you. Thank you guys.